हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी आई एम विनीता एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टूडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इन टू द अमेजिंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ प्लांट्स वी हैव सीन वॉट प्लांट्स आर एंड देयर टाइप्स नाव इट्स टाइम टू लुक क्लोजली एट द पार्ट्स ऑफ अ प्लांट एंड ट्रस्ट मी every part has a job to do so let's get started parts of a plant a plant has two main systems the part above the ground and the part below the ground let's break them into different parts as you need to know in the part above the ground we have different parts like stem leaf flower and fruit all these comes under shoot system and below the ground we have root which com which comes under the root system let's study about the leaf first leaf is a flattened typically green lateral outgrowth of the stem plant stem attached to the stem by a petiole or is directly connected to the stem coming to the structure of leaf leaf have different structures like leaf blade which is also known as lamina the main flat part of the leaf next we have petiole the stalk that attaches the leaf to the stem as you can see in the picture the green color part which you see is the leaf blade or the leaf lamina and the stalk with which a leaf is attached to the stem is known as the petiole veins vascular tissues that transport water nutrients and sugars within the leaf next we have stomata small opening on the leaf surface for gas exchange and then we have cuticle which is a waxy layer on the leaf surface that reduces water losses as you can see clearly in this the small line like structures which you can see on the image of the leaf are the veins and we also have stomata which are useful for the gaseous exchange and cuticle which is a waxy layer on the leaf surface next we have types of venation venation means the manner or the pattern in which veins on the leaves are arranged so we basically have two types of venation one is parallel venation and the other is reticulate venation in parallel venation veins of the leaves are parallel to each other as you can see in the image of the leaf of parallel venation and in reticulate venation as you can see the veins are distributed all around the leaf not parallel to each other means they are spread in a random manner next let's study about the stem stem is the structural part of the plant that supports the leaves flowers and fruits let's now study about the structure of stem it has different layers like the outer layers and the inner tissues in the outer layers it has epidermis and cuticle 
and in the inner tissues are the cortex and vascular bundles the main function of stem is supporting the plant and transporting water nutrients and sugar as you can see in the picture it is the internal cross section of stem and the internal structure of stem has different parts like the outer epidermis cortex the central part the pith and we have vascular bundles which are made up of xylem phloem and cambium so this is the internal structure of stem so here is the image of cross section of a small part of stem and when we take the cross section of stem and see under a microscope it is appearing like this the outer layer is the epidermis and inside we have vascular bundles which contains xylem and phloem and the central part of the stem cross section is the pith now let's study about the types of stem stem are further divided into hard woody stems and soft herbaceous stems this is the image of a short herbaceous stem where the stem is not so strong and we have hard woody trees where stem is very strong let's study now about the roots roots are the part which are present underground that is the underground part of the plant is the root root has root hold the plant firmly in the soil and helps to absorb water and minerals as you can see in this image the roots are spread all around the soil and these roots support the main plant and also helps in absorbing water and minerals now let's study about the structure of root it has different parts like root cap root hairs epidermis cortex endodermis and vascular tissues which are made up of xylem and phloem so you can see in the image here is the magnified image of the root tip and we have different parts in the root one is the region of maturation which is the upper part and just below the region of maturation we have region of elongation and below region of elongation we have region of meristematic activity in the region of maturation we have root hairs as you can see in the image small hair like structures come out from the region of maturation they are known as root hairs and at the tip of the root we have root cap which is in the region of meristematic activity let's study about this again in detail now we have studied about the different regions of root we have different regions of root which are the region of maturation region of elongation and region of meristematic activity or the cell division we have root hairs in the region of maturation and we have root cap in the region of meristematic activity or the region of 
cell division. The complete root system is again divided into different types of roots. They are primary roots, secondary roots and tertiary roots. The main root that is present in the root system as you can see in the image is known as the primary root. The roots which arise from the main root or the primary root are known as secondary root. These are the secondary roots and the roots that comes from the secondary roots are known as tertiary roots. So, from this image we can clearly see that the central or the main root is the primary root and secondary roots comes from the primary roots and tertiary roots come from the secondary roots. So, these are the different types of roots present in the root system. Next, let us study about the types of roots. We have different types of roots that is based on the structure that is tap root and fibrous roots. As you can see in the image, this is the example, this is how fibrous roots appear and this is how tap root appear. Can you see the both the images and differentiate them? In fibrous roots, we clearly cannot distinguish primary, secondary and tertiary roots. Whereas in tap root, we have a clear long primary root from which the secondary roots are arising and from secondary roots the tertiary roots are coming out. So here uh, is the image of tap root system and fibro fibrous root system and how they appear. We have tap root system and vegetables like carrot and radish. And we have fibrous root system where the roots appear like this as you can see in the image. Next, let us study about the flower. Flower, the aesthetic part of plant which bears seeds. So, here is the image of beautiful flowers. Let us study about the structure of flower. It consists of reproductive organs like stamens and carpels and they are typically surrounded by brightly colored corella which are the petals and the green calyx which are known as the sepals. As you can see in the image, we have different parts like stamen, carpels, petals, sepals and peduncle. The colored part which you can see is the petal. The green part which you can see is the sepal. The part with which flower attaches to the stem is known as the peduncle. And we have the reproductive parts like the stamen and carpels. Let us clearly see the structure of flower. In the main central part of the flower, we have pistil. Pistil is the female reproductive organ. And in pistil, we have different parts like stigma, style and ovary. Stigma is the part where pollen grains are received. They travel along the style and reach near the ovule. Next we have stamen. Parts of stamen are anther and filament. The upper lobe like structures which you can see are the anther and the lower part is the filament. 
and the colored structure that you can see in the flower is known as the petal. The green color structure is known as sepal and the part with which the flower attaches to the stem is known as peduncle or receptacle. And here is the image of the cross section of stem which we have already studied earlier. So I hope flower is clear, flower has, flower is the main reproductive part which contains the female part which is the pistil and the male part which is the stamen. So this is how the stamens appear and this is how pistil appears. So here is the image again, the outer part, the colored part is the petal. We have the female part which is the pistil which contains three parts, stigma, style and ovary. And we have stamen which is the male part which contains anther and filament. And we have green color part which is the sepal. Next is the male reproductive part. Let's study about each part in detail. First is the male reproductive part which is the stamen. Stamen is further divided into two parts. The upper one is known as the anther and lower tube like structure is known as filament. Inside the anther we have pollen grains. As you can see this is the magnified image of anther and inside the anther we have pollen sacs and inside the pollen sacs pollen grains are produced. Next we have female reproductive part which is the carpel or the pistil. It is again divided into three parts which is the stigma, style and ovary. Inside the ovary we have small structures which are known as ovules. So all together stigma, style, ovary and ovules form the carpel which is the female reproductive part. So this is the image how it appears. It contains stigma, style and ovary. So I hope you like today's video. So let's shall we quickly recap what we have learned now. Stem supports and transports nutrients in the plant. Roots which is which are present below the soil absorbs water. Leaves are to make fruits that is food, flower helps in reproduction, fruits and seeds help grow new plants. Banana plant don't have woody stems like trees but they are still the largest herbs in the world. Cool right? Yes, now it's your turn. Go out and observe a plant and can you spot all five parts? Drop a Comment in the comment section if you have learned something new today. And don't forget to like, subscribe our YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next video where we will be exploring the next part of this chapter. So until then, keep smiling. Bye-bye.